We've got another great, great pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Katrin Mosbach, who is a French landscape architect practicing since 87. So she started actually the same year as Adrian from West 8, who spoke yesterday with Alice Rathorn. Um, Katrin won the trophy of landscape from the French Ministry of Culture, has co-founded a magazine, Bache Paysage, where she has written uh, extensively about different notions of gardens, and has developed unique landscapes in Taiwan, in China, in Israel, in Canada, in the US, and in native France. One of the things which I think is interesting uh, ever since this marathon started as a pattern is that we've had lots of collaborations between landscape architects and artists and landscape architects and architects. We had Pascal Gribier, for example, the collaboration with Giuseppe Penone, and Giuseppe Penone will be next after Katrin Mosbach. We'll have later today um, Bas Metz with uh, Philippe Areno, and we have, of course, Günther Vogt and his collaborations with uh, Olafur Eliasson, or also Dan Graham. Katrin Mosbach has many collaborations, and I think one of the most important collaborations is our collaboration with Sana, with uh, Katsuo Sechima and Ryo Nijizawa. That's also how we met at the conference, actually, at the Louvre, which was about the Louvre Lens. And this is the project uh, they're working on at the moment for the Louvre, the new Louvre in Lens in France. Katrin Mosbach collaborates with Sana, and also the American museum architect Celia Imre and Tim Calvot for this project to open in 2012. For the marathon today, Katrin will present a, a talk called Face Shift Park. A very, very warm welcome to Katrin Mosbach. Bonjour. Good afternoon. I'm really pleased to present here um, an international competition with just win with uh, Philippe Ram, architect Switzerland, and um, Ricky Liu, architect Taiwan. Uh, I present in two parts, half slides and half a movie, to highlight uh, the two main concerns, means uh, lithosphere design and atmospheric uh, design. Taiwan Island belongs to a very sensitive area where the lithosphere is a work in progress and where one of the largest marine currents, Kuroshivo, has a great influence of the island climate. We try to understand precisely the topographic dynamic of the island coming from the depths of the ocean to the top of the mountain, especially in connection with the water resource in regards of the steepness of the slopes east and west. In the mid, you have the island and the uh, bathymetry mark under the ocean. The park area is one on the foothills of the mountains. With deforestation and steep slopes, rain water is running way to the ocean. On the other hand, the hard surface of the airport in the mid of the section bring all rain water in the city waste water network. Our gateway park, the third section, introduced soil porosity and retention topographic beds, temporary submersive so that the soil of the park infiltrated the rainwater where it fell down to nourish the superficial layers of the soil and more deeply the water table. In the same time, it introduced the biodiversity between vegetation, animals and human beings. The topographic beds are proposed in regards of two parameters. On one hand, the soil is a technical tool for grading the porosity more or less dense according to the uses and the capacity to capture water. On the other hand, the topography open view onto the town and created landscape horizon resting at the extremity of each road perspective. The rainwater flow is reorganized in a succession of topographic beds that infiltrate each nearest district area. This partition, oh, it's going too fast, sorry. Propose a versatility of recreational appropriation in dry periods and a landscape morphing that is loaded in monsoon periods. So the first scheme on the left is uh, the precise request for the program for the city is around 70% covering water for the whole area. Is the area is 70 hectares. 
And the third one is 80% of the park is covered by water. Uh, and a special happens, this is around every 100 years. In connection with the topographic beds, the soil porosity gradient determines the coefficient of surface runoff to retain and orient the, the retention areas or the temporary submersive area. Topographic beds and porosity gradient, this is the master plan for porosity soil gradient, oriented the different soil qualities. In urban context, it is used to have 100% hard soil or 100% porous areas. Our Gateway Park proposed a large panel of porosity gradient named mixed soil, combining vegetation and mineral, especially in connection with the cultural facilities. Very simplified, the porosity is determined by the numbers of emptiness inside the hard surface so that the water infiltrate more or less quickly in the superficial soil layers. The island, Taiwan, possesses a hot and humid subtropical sub climate. Due to hot climatic conditions, high humidity and air pollution, People in Taishung prefer to spend more time in air-conditioned environment like shopping malls or restaurants. The goal of our design is to create comfortable outdoor green spaces to welcome people back to the nature and simultaneously increase the usage frequency to the park. To do that, we propose to investigate three meteorological maps, one for the heat design, one for the humidity design, and one for the pollution air design. Heat design. It is like as if we bring back the more agreeable temperature of Puli, it is a place at the top of the mountain in Taiwan, to Taishung at July. This is the existing condition with the new district all around the park. So you see the very light pink, is the place where it's less hot in native condition. So we accentuated this place with a range of meteorologic devices to uh, optimize the comfort for the people. The park accentuates the area where it's less hot by introducing a range of devices. Uh, each point is a device, so where is uh, a lot of points, you have around 100% gradient of devices, and raise uh, Y to have around 20% uh, gradient of devices. A catalog of devices used to optimize the comfort of the park area. So you have very traditional one, like a trees, would just bring shadows, and much more high technological one, like specific um, materiality, uh, will introduce uh, high technology to introduce um, comfort in the park. Humidity design. Follow the topographic uh, waterbeds I show you uh, before. Here, for humidity, it is like as if we return the soft dry air of the north of November to the middle of the month of July. And again, the existing condition with all around the district and the most humid is the dark blue and the less humid uh, zone is a uh, very light blue. Places accentuated with the range of devices. Uh, so where it's very dark blue, it's not so humid, and where it's very white, it's very, very humid. Uh, the catalog of the devices, uh, very um, traditional world with the trees, and much more high technology one with um, the material. And finally, the pollution design. It is as we bring back the countryside air of Rio Xiu to the heart of Taishung. Uh, the existing condition with the district, uh, the air polluted is really much more higher uh, with high traffic. So one of the solution is to cover with tunnels and bridges some roads and to introduce in same the two other layout uh, the devices for air polluted. The catalog with trees 
and with much more specific furniture for the noise. So, uh, this is a kind of uh, programming mat to overlapping from these four maps give specific climatic station. In the um, ecological fields, you say when a plant is choice a place, you say it's a station, for example, the station of the violet or the station from the marple. And so we just want to do that for the people. So combining the three layout, you have very specific places where it is at some point cool, humid, and polluted. Cool, dry, polluted, warm, humid, polluted, etc. Program follows climates. Leisure programs go in low heat areas. I go fast to have time to see the movies. So you have specific um, function in this specific climatic station. Indoor program go on high heat areas. So there are different programming of museum where you go inside the building where you have air conditioning. The dark area are the place proposed for the museum. Sport program go in low relative humid areas. And water games program go on high relative humid areas, etc. And finally, you have different kind of station. This one is example of very, you have very um, soon relation between devices, nature, and activities. This one is more wild on the top of the hills. Uh, and this one, uh, the topographic beds sometimes are full of people and sometimes are full of water. And much more classical urban context for everyday life. Um, the movie is in Chinese because it was in Taiwan, uh, but is undertitled in English. Enjoy. Within北回归线上,台湾虽有着热带典型的湿热气候, 却也有中央山脉上寒冷气候。沿岸的气候很湿热，在某些季节是很不舒服的。然而山上因为高度的缘故，气温整年都凉爽。基于这些地理和地质上的因素，在台中要好好享受露天空间，在某些季节是很困难
，或者是可驱逐文字的超声波播放喇叭。在既有的地图上，我们画出了三张气象图，每张皆有特别的大气数值，让我们可以选择装置这些不同气候侦测机在公园里的位置。第一个是关于温度的地图，公园本身不同的地点，以自然的有着不同的温度。我们将在受东北风吹拂而比较凉爽的地方加重的种植能降低气温的气候侦测机。相反的，在比较不受东北风影响的地方，我们就种植少些，因此这些地方会比较热。第二章是关于。空气中水汽的地图，我们新创造了公园的地形，决定了这个地方的水流向，也因此决定了空气中的水汽。然后，公园中最低洼处，正常来讲是存水最多之处。地缘的关系，因此空气中也聚集最多的水汽，在这些地方湿度最大。相反的，在最高的地方，在我们创造的小山丘顶上。空气将会比较干燥，也比较舒服。我们将利用这既有的优点，更加强的加装很多有除湿功能的气候侦测机。为了制定第三章关于空气污染的地图，我们自然而然的从公园四周的公路画起。只要越远离公路，我们就越可以感觉到空气污染的减少。在远离道路的地方，我们加强了大量装置可以去污染的侦测机。所以，气候侦测机就是我们这风景乐谱里的创造元素。它们建构了无数质量不等的微小气候，将自然的主导了公园里节目的分布，比如说公共建筑、娱乐区。散步路径的排列或游戏广场的位置，根据我们所绘制的气象地图，仔细的画出界限来。在公园中气候比较不舒服的地点，我们建议在这里制作有建筑物的节目，像是博物馆、铁塔、停车场、夜店等。相反的，娱乐空间将是在我们所制造的小气候中最舒服的地方。以此类推，我们将安排儿童游戏区在空气污染最不严重的区域，以保障孩子们的健康。而运动区，我们将设置在较干燥的地方，就不会因为空气太过潮湿而妨碍了身体正常的排汗。散步的路径会根据公园里不同质量的气候环境而安排，所以此路径将会串联起公园内所有比较干燥的区域，成为舒服的慢跑小道。另一条路径将会串联起公园内比较不受污染的区域。我们要建造一条亲子之路，在这条路上，我们可以放心的和孩子们散步。每一条路径皆会带给人们不同的感官经验。为了让公园的游客感觉空气变得凉爽，我们建议有三十来种气候侦测机。比如说，在空气中散播着微小水滴的喷雾器，可以让四周顿时清凉。把家里室内的休闲材质应用在室外的长椅上，如此突兀的，在大白天里可让人感受到如夜晚回家的清爽时刻。一种水泥材质做成的支架，里头有着经过地下自然冷却的水通过的水管，表面会因此保持冰凉，让人消暑。广种叶片硕大的树，会有很多的树影，让人躲太阳。一种把四周炎热的空气吸起来，存到很深的地底之下，再排放出来的侦测机，能创造一块清凉舒爽的区域。
稍微远一点，我们可以看到一床用泥土搭成的小屋，它也具有吸收空气中水汽的功能。汇集了公园里的水流而形成的小湖，造成了这个地点湿度比较大，比较不舒服。但我们可以因此在这里规划喷水游戏区。汇集了公园里的水流而形成的小湖，造成了这个地点湿度比较大，比较不舒服。但我们可以因此在这里规划喷水游戏区。种在这里的树会吸收空气里的湿气。篮球场地板的材质将会吸收高温和湿气，在这里做运动变得比较舒服。首先是城市的噪音，我们发射与它相反的音波，将噪音抚平。还原原本的宁静。接着，我们要用不同的方式来打击和吸收空气的污染。光触媒的运用，它能吸收和分解空气里有毒的分子，还有某些具有吸收空气中有毒物质特性的植物。最后是超声波的播放喇叭，可以驱赶蚊子，让儿童能够再回到公园来玩耍。我们的计划在今天是一个基本且必要的计划，它带来养生并维护大城市市民的健康。我们真正想要送给台中市市民是感官的经验，是一个让人觉得舒服的广大户外空间。在那里，我们可以避开酷暑和大雨，度过美好时光。在远离噪音和污染之际，放轻松身心，跟孩子们在露天空间里嬉戏游玩。